All right, team, this is Mr. Munro talking about simplifying like terms. That's AO1. So before we start on this AO, let's talk about what simplifying like terms actually means. When we talk about simplifying, we're talking about writing it in an easier way. Because as we all know, mathematicians are very lazy people. And when we're talking about like terms, we're talking about unknown values that are the same. So we're talking about unknowns like x and y, and when we talk about like terms, they have to be the same. x and y are not like terms, or what we call unlike terms. All right, so let's have a look at a real-world example to begin with. In this example, I've got a pile of two apples, and I've got a pile of three apples. Can I simplify that? Can I make it into one big giant pile? The answer in this case is yes because I'm dealing with like terms. So I'm going to add them together to make a pile of five apples. What about if I'm dealing with a pile of two apples and a pile of three oranges? Can I simplify them together? Can I write it in an easier way? The answer is no. You can't add apples and oranges. So in this case, they're unlike terms. I can't simplify that. So I'm just going to leave it. As it is, we're going to leave it as two apples plus three oranges. Now let's look at this from an algebraic point of view. I've got 2x here and I've got 3x here. Can I add these together? Can I simplify them? Well, if I have 2x here and I've got 3x there, well, in total I've got 5x. So yes, I can simplify them. Simplifying doesn't just work with addition, it works with subtraction as well. So in this case here, I've got 6x in this pile, and I need to take away 2x. I treat this just like arithmetic. 6 take away 2 is 4, so 6x take away 2x is 4x. Okay, moving on. In this case, I've got a pile that's 2x, and this is 3y. Can I simplify this? Are they like terms? No, they're not. They're unlike terms, so I can't simplify them. I have to simply just leave them as they are, as, as simple as they get. In this case here, I'm dealing with x squared and x squared. These are like terms, so I can add these together. 2x squared plus 3x squared is going to give me a total of 5x squared. But what about in this case here? I'm dealing with a pile of x and a pile of x squared. These are not like terms. These are unlike terms. x and x squared are unlike. The same goes for x squared and x cubed or x to the power of 4. These are unlike terms. This doesn't apply, though, when you're dealing with x and a half x. These are like terms. It only applies when you're dealing with exponentials like x squared, x cubed, x to the power of 4. So in this case, I can't add x and x squared. I have to simply leave them as they are because they are unlike. Last example before we look at a proper example. 2xy plus 3yx. Now, this one's written as xy, and it's written as yx. So, are these like terms? Are they unlike terms? Well, to answer that question, you have to think about what xy and what yx means. xy simply means x times y. And yx simply means y times x. And we know that xy and yx must therefore be the same thing because we know from using our multiplication basic facts that 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2 vice versa so xy and yx are like terms so we can add them together and you can write it either way i'm going to write it as 5xy just because i like to follow the sort of order of the alphabet okay so let's have a look at a real example now. This would be a really good time for you to pause the video and try yourself.
I'll give you a bit of a chance to do that now if you want. Okay, so when I'm going through and answering these questions, I tend to follow a bit of like an alphabetic order when I'm doing it. But I'm going to start with the, the y squared, just because it's a squared value. This is the only y squared that's on there. This is a y, that's a y. So they're not like terms. So I'm simply just going to rewrite it. It's just still on its own, just a lonely y squared. Okay, let's have a look at our x's next. So I've got 4x here, and I've got 3x there. I'm adding them together. So when I simplify them, it's just going to be 4x plus 3x. That's going to be 7x. And to make life easier, I'm just going to put a line through them. I'll put a line through this one as well to make life easier. So I can see what I've got left. Right, so the y's. 5y. And this is minus 2y. Now I've got to be really careful because that is take away 2y, remember. So 5 minus 2, that's going to leave me with 3y. And it's still plus 3y, so plus 3y. And let's have a look. That is all of my terms. So 4x plus 5y plus 3x minus 2y plus y squared simplified is y squared plus 7x plus 3y. Now remember, the order of these doesn't matter. If you wrote it as y squared plus 3y plus 7x, it's still the correct answer. What does matter though, is these operations. It has to be plus 7x, it has to be plus 3y. Otherwise, we've got a problem. Okay, uh, if you got that correct, well done. If you made a mistake, go back, maybe review this stuff up here. Uh, and if you're still really stuck, have a talk to someone else in the class or come and have a talk to me, see what we can figure out. Okay, so that was AO1 simplifying like terms. Hope you learned something. Good luck.